The time has come. It's time to prep and go cave diving for the artifacts to fight the Gamma Boss of the Lost Island. However, there's only one thing we're missing for this adventure, my friends, and that is the Baryonyx. Let the story begin. Welcome back, everyone, to yet another episode of Lost Island of, whoa, of Ark. Lost Island, I, I messed that up. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Ark on our Lost Island Survival Series. I hope that you guys are doing wonderful. I hope you guys are doing well. Like again, we have a lot of things to do today. We're gonna be doing some cave diving today, but there is a dinosaur that I, I do not have that we need to have for the cave diving of the diving of caves okay you might already know what dinosaur that is if you've been watching the series and uh you've been looking around a the base there's a dinosaur missing there's something that we're missing and that my friends is a, is a is a is a baryonyx i don't know why i was gonna say brontosaurus right there i really was about to say brontosaurus but yeah we need a baryonyx for the underwater cave i'm assuming there's an underwater cave i don't even know if there's an underwater cave but usually there's an underwater cave in arc because we have water right so we need a baryonyx because we're definitely not gonna be taking any rexes down there saber twos thylacoleos nothing's going down there but but the baryonyx and that's what we're gonna be doing and uh we're on our way to the swamp biome right now which is quite literally right over there hopefully we can find ourselves a good baryonyx i am super surprised at the at the maywing it's like does the maywing even go down like i just flew across the water i thought i was gonna be in trouble i literally just flew across the water and didn't even have to go down i i it, i didn't you know i didn't have to stop at all like this is overpowered okay this might be one of the most overpowered dinosaurs in all of arc the maywing i'm sorry it's it's literally the best flyer i've ever flown but keep in mind i haven't flown every flyer so there's a thing but we're here um now this is one of many of the swamp biomes on lost island i just chose this one because it's closest to me and i already see a baryonyx hopefully we can find a good one here level 20 oh there's another one next to him you look cool what level are you 85 yeah we're gonna be scouring a little bit just to see if we could find one here um and hopefully that we actually can um and i will catch you guys back once we do hopefully we do though so as you can see guys um this might not actually be a good spot because this is a level 135 baryonyx with 27 health but he they fight the stegos that's i've been looking for a while now and i i've barely seen any any baryonyxes maybe like one or two here and there but now i know why is because they fight the stegos um did he just kill the stego well they fight the stegos and usually they die but you can see just how many stegosauruses are around here and um i'm not sure we're going to even be able to find a good baryonyx but this one we might be able to tame this one just for the 27 health um but like i think we just got lucky let's see do you actually just yeah they just they just straight up aggro any stegosaurus they see and um if he kills this stego then we'll tame him but if not then probably just not um because he'll be dead we, we won't be able to because he, he'll be dead but like i'm not gonna try to tame him now because the stag swords is gonna kill him in the middle oh, there goes there goes another stego joining the furry um let's see how much health he has baronix has 1800 stego has 15 that stego has is level 55 with 2k health he's making a turnaround there's a third stego getting to the mix there's no way this baryonyx lives yeah I, we uh, i don't i don't know we might have to just go to like a different location for the swamp because there's way too many stegosauruses here um for us to even possibly find a good baryonyx and be able to tame it without it trying to kill a stegosaurus and ultimately dying um because they're everywhere like when i say everywhere like look at this guy well, level, look, look, look at him. Level 145, Baryonyx. Um, does, does, does he have good stats? I can't see because there's so many Stegosauruses. He's getting jumped. He's literally getting jumped by the Stegosaurus family. He's lost half his health already. I want to see his stats before he dies, though. So I see a 20 health, 22, uh, I think it was like 22 speed or something like that. Eh, nah, nah, nothing good, nothing great. But I'm going to head to a different swamp location that I quite literally don't know off the top of my head if i'm being honest but we're gonna be doing some research go to the other swamp location hopefully there's no baryonyxes there because this place is ramsacked with baryonyxes there's nothing nothing's gonna take down the baryon sarcos capras snakes whatever it may be nothing nothing will survive because there's so many stegosauruses here um this would be a great place to get some text look at that 162 that's a good uh tech stegosaurus um yeah this would be a great place to get tech 
tech stales if I wanted some. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys back when I, I actually get to that location. All right, so I've seen to find a better location. I'm here on the map, which is quite literally right around the corner where we were the first time. That's why I kind of just stayed on my griffin. Um, and the first time I come in here, I run into this level 145 uh, Baryonyx. Unfortunately, his stats are garbage. He's got 29 hunger. Like, that's insanely bad. But, I mean, it gives me hope. It gives me faith. And there are Stegos here, but it's not as many Stegos as the other location. So, I'm hoping that we'll be able to find something here worth our well. There's another one. There's actually two of them down there. One of them is fighting. Yeah, you're bad. And, oh, that's a, that's a Capra. Sorry. I thought that was a Baryonyx for a second. But, oh, Right in my face, 85, not the, no, no, up. Oh, this one right here, 140, 26 health. 26 health, that could be, uh, that could be worth taming. What is he, level 140? Over 135, was that 140 or 135? That was, okay, that was 140, yeah. I think we should tame that one just for the health, but I do want to find something with uh, attack speed, not attack speed, um, attack damage along with movement speed because we're going to be doing underwater. We're mainly not going to be fighting stuff. We're going to just be traversing a lot because we don't want to get stuck by the jellyfish and everything like that, right? Or the electric eels. Um, so we're mainly going to be going for movement speed, but if we do have to attack, obviously health and uh, attack damage is going to be something that's going to be good for us. So we already got health. 26 health and we just need something else around here i'm gonna be doing a little bit more searching and uh hopefully we can get somewhat lucky um and get to get some some more good stuff i'm gonna go ahead and tame this one though in the middle of getting some stamina back for my griffin look at this text that go 174 30 one health the highest stat and then 30 stamina on top of that this guy is nutty right you can use this you, you could just use this 31 health like you can't ask for better health you probably could but that's still pretty damn good health, you know? So in the middle of, um, in the middle of taming dude, he decided to take himself and commit. That's what he pretty much decided. He's getting jumped by stegosauruses. There's no way he lives. Um, so we're back on the search, I suppose. We're back on the search for some, um, for some Baryonyxes, because that one's dead now, and that one sucks, that one also sucks, yeah. We're back on the search. I should've tamed it when I had the chance, honestly, I waited. I don't know why I waited, but uh, we're back on the search. We actually ran since this level 150. He's got 25 damage, which isn't the best, but it's better than anything we have right now. So I'm just gonna like, go ahead and tame him. I wonder if I can... Yeah, <laughs> I can shoot right through my griffin and hit him. That's insane. I don't even know if he's down, though. Is he down? Okay, yeah, he's down. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and tame him. 25 health. I'm hoping we could get something better eventually, you know what I mean? But um, that's that's not too bad, considering. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring with me some, um, some prime uh, fish food, which we're going to have to get, I think. No, I think Sarko's drop just regular fish food i think we actually have to go kill fishes or something like that um yeah yeah like these guys i wonder if i can, can i do this on my griffin without actually falling into the water and dismounting uh, i mean i did both i guess there's that i don't know there's that i, I guess i guess that worked in a way kind of um but hey we got the fish food right we got the fish food. Yeah, yeah okay that should be enough i mean hopefully i actually don't know if that's gonna be enough if not, then we'll just have to do to do, I suppose. Where is this guy, anyways? He's somewhere in his water. Um, here you go. You're not gonna drown, right? He's not gonna drown, right? You're not gonna drown, right? You're good, right? What's your oxygen? Oh, you actually don't have oxygen. You are perfectly fine. There you go, some fish food, my friend. Um, and you're eating it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go ahead and start to search for some more i want to tame like maybe five though let's, let's look at this guy what, what level are you level 150 20 29 movement oh yeah yeah yeah. You're, you're ours you're ours 29 movement speed hello excuse me where you go hello what's up buddy that's one hit probably only takes two right just like your friend oh now you're running from me come on fall 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 run too fast and i of course i missed oh there we go awesome so we got 29 movement speed. we got 25 damage the only thing we need now is health that's the only thing we need. Find a Baryonyx with some health. What about you? What level are you? Level 50. Disgusting. Get out my face. I should actually... I should massacre you, actually. Get out my face. Do you drop fish food, though? Let me... Let me... Let me... Let's see. You don't. Okay. Confirmed. Now I know. Um, hopefully, we can find something with some health, though. Let me um, search around a little bit more. Froggy down there. Froggy's everywhere. 
Uh, I bet that's a Baryonis getting jumped, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep, it's a Baryonis, level 50 Baryonis with 29 movement speed. It's okay, because we already got a 29 movement speed. Dang, they come with high movement speed. What the heck? 29 movement speed. I wonder if 29 is like the highest you can get on a level uh, on a level 150. Either way, he's getting jumped. Another Baryon is getting jumped. The, the, the Baryonixes, they need to like band together or something. Yeah, 18 health. You deserve to get jumped with 18 health. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Any others? Any others around here somewhere? No? Hello? Anyone? Um, not that I can see, as far as my eye can see, and not that I can, not that I can see, but we're fine something. If we see Barry Onyxes, bound to have a Stego getting jumped on him or something, um, I'm gonna look around. I will, I will look around somewhere. We'll find one. So the taming effectiveness on my Barry Onyx dropped to 62%. I've got no idea why. Um... I've got no idea why I don't I don't he he wasn't attacked unless I shot him with my tranquilizer arrow because I shot him two times it's either that or it's the food I wonder if it's the food that I've been feeding him but apparently the dodo decks that shouldn't really hurt it too much um unless we just find some prime some raw prime but I mean, 62% is really freaking bad. Um, I'm a little bit scared to feed it to that Baryonyx because I don't want that Baryonyx to be 62% as well. But I, I don't know if that's the reason why. And I also don't even know what drops prime, raw fish. I've got no idea. I'm trying to give me a max level Baryonyx here. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even think I have any like ocean tames even go get some. Uh, ooh, 27 what? Was that weight? 27 weight? Yeah. But yeah, I don't even have any like ocean tames really to go get some prime um, fish food. Unless I can find some in here, but I don't even know what drops. I think salmon or something like that, but I, I, we're not. Am I near ocean? I'm, I might even just go near an ocean real quick to see if I can get me some prime. Because I'm not messing with the 62% taming effectiveness. It's either that or it's the he got hit by something and I just didn't even know. Maybe some piranhas or something like that. He would have been dead though, cause okay, we're we're gonna do some we're gonna do some testing here. I need to test this out for the sake of my brain. I need to figure out if he's taming effectiveness is bad because of the food, or did something just straight up come attack him and I just didn't even know. We're gonna take like half of this from you. I'm gonna put the other half on the on the Baryonyx over here. So we could figure this situation out because I honestly have no idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Baryonyx. I actually have no idea. We're going to sacrifice your 100 taming effectiveness. You better not attack me, motherfucker. All right, we're going to sacrifice your 100 taming effectiveness. Give you some raw. Uh, some raw. Let's see. You scared the living crap out of me. 99 point. Okay, so every time he eats, it goes down. But going down to 60 is insane. Like, I expected to go down this much, right, realistically, but... Yeah, I've got no idea why you was at 60, my friend. That makes no sense. This guy's probably going to end up at, like, 95 or something, which is fine. It's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's better than you. Where were you? You were our, um... I don't even know what you were. I think you were health. Yeah, I think this one's movement speed. You were health. You had 25 health, which now you have 30. So you've definitely been affected. That sucks. Um, someone take him out. Kill him, please. But yeah, I've got I've I've literally have no idea what happened right there. Um, and I'm I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry that you for some reason you're probably never gonna be used because you're absolute garbage. But other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep searching. Um, and hopefully that just doesn't happen again all right guys i think i just ran into a pretty lucky streak when it came to barry analysis because i literally just stained three level 150s um along with the one that we have in our inventory right now um i think it was this one this one has the 37 movement speed 33 sound with 30 damage um which that's not even the best of the best i don't think that's going to be the best of the best if can i even look at these okay i can't look at these guys stats um but trust and believe when i say these guys are actually surprisingly good i think I, okay so look at that 27 damage and 27 movement speed 
27 27 that is nutty i mainly got him just for the damage because we did run into a 29 movement speed um but like 27 damage isn't bad right this guy over here this guy has the um let me see if i can get a little bit closer um this one has the 31 health third we're gonna be a chunky boy okay 31 health so we got the movement speed we got the damage we got the health and i think this one had stamina yeah 29 stamina insane okay we're gonna have to be doing a lot of breeding to combine all of those you know stats together but like we're gonna have a beefy berry on it's gonna have good stamina it's gonna have good speed it's gonna have good damage and it's gonna have good health i don't even know what i'm gonna level up you know probably damage more than likely um i really have no idea but it, it's gonna be insane hopefully 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 none of these guys actually get eaten or something like that like the last one did let's see 98 taming effectiveness 97 taming effectiveness and then we got ourselves a 97 okay so once we these guys are up i'm gonna meet you guys back at the house i'm gonna be doing a little bit of breeding i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a trick in order to level up your dinosaurs instantly i'm gonna make a whole nother video on this but since you're watching this i might as well show you right um that's what i'm gonna do but once you guys are up i'm gonna head back into the house and i'll catch you guys once we actually get there all right, so I'm back at the house. These are our quite literally four God Baryonises. This one has uh, 37 movement speed, 120%, uh, 37 movement speed. With the 36 weight, I didn't even peek the weight. That that could come in handy considering how much weight you have. 559, yeah, that could come in handy. Um, 30, let's see, 39 health, which is insane. Food doesn't matter at all, but the 39 health is pretty damn good. And then we also have this guy with the 40 food. I wish that was melee, but we do got the 38 melee though. We do got the 38 melee. These guys like to eat a lot. And then the 39 stamina. So this must have been the 29, uh, the, the 27, 27 dude. So he ended up with, I don't know how you ended up with so much food, but 39 stamina, 39 melee. And then this guy over here ended up with the 38 movement speed, which don't we already have something with high movement speed though? 37 movement speed right here with the 36 weight. I mean, I could just say F that dude and just stick with the 30, uh, the 37 uh, movement speed. Let's see how much more movement speed the 38 has. What? 120%. 120%. Do they all have 120%? 120%. Okay, maybe I maybe movement speed just doesn't matter. Okay, maybe maybe movement speed quite literally does not matter. I thought it would like up it, but I guess not. So this guy is pretty much useless then. Since the movement speed doesn't matter. Yeah, you're you're pretty much useless, my friend. I'm sorry, but you're pretty much useless. The only thing that matters, I guess, is the stamina, health, and then you wait and probably or stamina, health, and melee. And probably weight, considering this guy's the 36 weight versus like this guy with like 24, right? That's a whole 100 extra weight we could be carrying. But I'm going to go ahead and start breeding these dudes. Um, I just realized we might have one little problem. The fact that we quite literally don't have any sort of supply. Don't seek fish on the... Oh, we have literally no form of supply when it comes to uh, raw fish or prime fish or anything like that. Let's see, we got a male, female, and a male. Okay, um... Let's see. I'm going to just level up these dudes. Not level up, but I'm going to tame these. I'm going to make them. I'm going to make them do them things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them do the things that they wish they could do right now. Okay, I'm going to make them do that. And then we're going to get some babies. All right, they're going to have good stats. And I'm going to show you guys. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. All right, so after a couple of breedings later and a, and a couple of baryonyx eggs later, we finally got our, like god baryonyx I, I i guess you could say so these are the stats that dude has he's got 39 health he's got 39 stamina he's also got 38 melee damage with the 40 food which we quite literally don't care about but i'm gonna show you guys how you can actually pretty much insta level any dinosaur in the game just from a cartridge farm so basically you're gonna want to take any of these cartridges here um you can claim them with a coward pod i'm just gonna use this good this uh what do you call this soul gun soul 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 gun yeah i'm gonna use this guy because it's easier you get him up just a random cartridge out of there right and then we're gonna bring him out which here we go well no wrong key bind. we're gonna bring him out just like that and we're gonna look at his health we're gonna have to get his health down really low and we're gonna have to bury on this pretty much kill him which is gonna give the bear on a shit ton of levels right so he's got four thousand health we're gonna shoot this guy a few times in the head with our shotgun here and see just how low we can get him i think the shotgun does like 400 damage per where's that so he's at 700 probably one more shot and now he's at 300 right okay so now what we need to do is unclaim him because right now he's clean right we need to unclaim him and hop on our baryonyx and just go to town on him just like that he's dead and our baryonyx gains 57 levels it's that easy 
It's literally that easy. That's all you have to do. Do this maybe three times, three cartridges, dead. He's max level. You don't have to worry about anything. I'm going to do this. I'm going to level probably roughly 8,000 health and just put the rest straight into melee. And I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good. I'm in the middle of uh, actually collecting some silica pearls and just testing out my baryonyx a little bit. And uh, I ended up finding this, which is a level 140 Basilosaurus, which I've never tamed a Basilosaurus before. Um, but I want to now for some very specific reason. Um, and I think that if I'm not mistaken, Basilosaurus is actually don't get knocked off their mount whenever they run into mantis, not mantises, but like electric eels or stingrays or anything like that. And he's literally right next to the base. Like that's literally the base right above the water. And um, I I kind of want to tame him or at least try to tame him. I mean, we do got the crossbow, right? We, we got pretty much everything we need to tame this dude. There's no reason why we shouldn't. He's right at the swords. We got our, we got our, like, this is like the, 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 the correct moment to tame a basket swords is right now. At least I thought we were at the, I don't know where the fuck we are. Oh yeah, the base is right there. Okay, yeah, we're tripping. But yeah, like, we might as well at least try. There's only mantises, right? I don't even know if the basilosaurus will end up trying to attack us itself. Wait, they're not even trying to attack us, period, it seems. Um, well, if I attack them first, or kill them, rather. Yeah, th th he's literally just not attacking us at all. This is going to be the easiest team ever if that's the case, right? Are you guys turning back around to attack? Seems like it. Here you go. And I think we could just, like, knock him out. Just, you know, regularly just knock him out. Um, and he's ours, I think? Let's see here. I actually have no idea. Oh, these guys take a lot of arrows. That's equivalent to 60 arrows right there. Come on now. Okay, hold on. Let me let me deal with these mantises real quick. These guys are annoying me. I love the stun ability on the, on the, um on this on this guy. By the way, the stun ability is amazing. Torpor is thirteen thousand, and it goes down pretty dang quick. Wow. <laughs> but we should be able to take this dude. No no problem. One more possibly. Oh, where am I going? And no, where are you at? Oh yeah, one more, one more, one more for sure. And boom, there we go. And he's out. Um, I'm assuming you just eat fish, right? At least I'm hoping that that's all you eat. Um, how do I? Oh, nope, can't get rid of you. Come back here. Um. I can't open his inventory? Am I not supposed to tame these guys regularly? I've... Uh... Yeah, I don't I don't know how to tame Basilosauruses. Um... I, I don't know. I, th I thought that I would just knock him out and give him fish food and that'll be it. Just like the just like this guy. But apparently not. That is not the way that we tame Basiliosauruses, apparently. That I didn't know until now. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do some research real quick. So apparently this guy's actually a passive tame. That I didn't know at all. Yeah, this guy is a passive tame, and we have to kill the mantises around it, and then we have to like put the food in our hot bar uh down there and then feed him but i'm assuming it's it's too late because he's kind of knocked out he can't eat anything um and i don't know when this guy is gonna come back up he's not even on our taming radar uh we should be able to look at him yeah that torpor is not coming down anytime soon so we might have missed out on a level 140 basilosaurus but it's fine i mean his stats i don't even know what stats he would want on a basilosaurus he's got 26 stamina with 25 damage maybe he would might have been good with that 25 damage honestly um but yeah i didn't know that now i know so apparently you just have to kill everything around him and then just like walk up to him and feed him food and that's it that doesn't seem too difficult i thought it was gonna be like mad hard um or something like that but yeah that doesn't seem too difficult but yeah now we know now we know now it's time to actually go to the cave this is the moment of that we've all been waiting for it's cave diving time i don't know if we're gonna do a water cave today to be honest speaking of do i even own that carcher i think that's a wild carcher but we're not gonna i don't think we're going to be doing a water cave today i'm not 100 percent sure on that we might but but 
in the case we do, we got the bass. We got the what do you what do you call it again? What do you call it? We got the baryonyx. So many bees. Basilosaurus, baryonyx, brontosaurus. So many bees. But um, in the case we do, we do. But in case we don't, we will eventually. I gotta figure out which caves we're gonna be doing, and I'll meet you guys at the first one. All right, we're uh, go ahead and hover. Uh, little, we, we are. <laughs> Going to go ahead and head over to the first location for the cave. This is going to be the artifact of cunning, which apparently is down south of where we actually uh, where we actually live, which we were quite literally right over there when we were getting the bron the baryonyx. It's near the swamp bomb. You guys might know. You guys might know where it is. I can't speak today. Has anyone else noticed that? I, for some reason, I keep messing up on my words. I don't know why, but you guys might know where this is. You might not, but you're going to find out in like five seconds because this thing is fast. Fast thing. I keep saying that, but like it really, it truly, really. Oh, uh oh. Whoops. It truly, really is. It truly, really is. Um, But it, it, we're we're almost there. I don't know where the exact cave location is. I just know the general area and I've got, I got a map open right now, so I should be able to figure it out. Um, I just know it's near the swamp bomb somewhat and that's pretty much all i know it's like next to a crevice i think it's actually somewhere over here i might have to land soon but i'm definitely not landing in this swamp biome that's for damn sure that's not gonna happen but it should be somewhere in this area maybe it's over here um let's see where are we where are we at and uh, yeah okay so we are like somewhere to the left apparently let's see here i i don't this does not look like a location for a cave if i'm being completely honest with you guys this does not look like a, a place where a cave would be i'm expecting some waterfall or like you know something like that but that's not what i'm getting at all but apparently it's here according to the map it's here somewhere over here maybe it's uh i'm gonna look over here for a second maybe just maybe it's like against a rock or something like that no okay i'm lost yeah I've got, I've got no idea where this thing is so apparently i was like barely in the wrong location it's near one of these bridges um not sure which one but it's definitely near let me not land too much in a war it's definitely near one of these bridges over here or whatnot gotta figure out which one because there's like three bridges over here I might even hop out on my um on my Argentavis. This might be easier to find on the Argentavis. It's on one of these three bridges, though. It's definitely not this one. I think we're way too far. I think it was that first one that we ran into. Let's see. It's to the left of a bridge. And it's nighttime out here. I wish it was daytime. I might actually just wait until daytime hits because I can I can barely see. It might be this one, actually. Let's see. Okay, we're just gonna wait till daytime. I can't see a th thing all right i found it <laughs> it's pretty much like right there um if you look on the map uh this is where we are on the map and like relative to the map just look for like here's the swamp area that's the bridge big bridge right there you go straight to the right of this um and then like up on this little walkway there's a big rock and then boom you run into the cave. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and adventure in this guy. Um, get this guy out. I'm going to take out. I think I'm going to take out. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm skeptical of taking out the Griffin because I or not the Griffin, but the Argentavis because I feel it's a little cheaty, but they might not even let us fly in here. Honestly, um, let's see here. I wonder what kind of cave this is going to be like theme wise. There's a bunch of bats, so we could definitely fly in here. I feel like this is a little cheaty. Let me, you guys tell me in the comments if you feel like this is a little cheaty. Just let me know in the comments. If you guys feel like it's a little cheaty, then I won't do it. But like, it just feels like, like, I don't know. It just feels so easy just to be able to like fly. I mean, technically the enemies can fly too. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's a shit ton of bats in here. So like, it's not completely easy. It's not like, you know, but at the same time, it's like, yeah you know it's just like yeah i can fly um but okay enough is enough we need we need to we need to get get on and learn where the heck we even came from actually okay so we came from there it's a big open area i feel like the ship is probably going to be our landmark of where we can uh keep track of where we are i'm gonna go left first um hopefully we can find a lot of loot in here 
and hopefully this cave isn't too ginormous like look at all of this bro so we got a little walkway we got the gym stones or whatever um yeah this this place is i feel like every single cave at this point is just huge man more gym stones more walkways okay we got a loot crate we, we, we found some progress we got a loot crate first loot crate not too bad Everything die. Come on now. It's not too cheaty, right? You guys don't think it's, you know? Oh, yeah. I'd probably, it'd probably be easy on Thylacolio. <laughs> Man, these things are coming from everywhere, huh? Ah, that should be good enough. They're not gonna, you know, they're, they, you know. Let's get something good in here. We got ourselves a journeyman stone pickaxe and a mastercraft terror bird. Mastercraft terror bird is actually kind of interesting. Um, I would not mind a mastercraft, um, a mastercraft, um, terror bird saddle or even taming a terror bird could be cool as well. But hey, look, we can't fly anymore. We, we still can fly, but we can barely fly. I'm going to do a little bit more adventuring up in here and see if we can find some good stuff. Um, and if we do find an artifact, which we should, I'll catch you guys back once we do. Guys, I found it. I found it. It didn't even take that long either. Like literally right when I, I made that cut, like not even a minute, like maybe like 30 seconds later, boom, we found the artifact. I, I blame it on Argentavis. I honestly blame it on Argentavis. Being able to fly inside of caves makes things so much easier. I think the next cave we're gonna be doing, we're gonna try it on a Thyla. I think that's the, I think that's the move. I think that's the play. Just try it on the Thyla, see what happens. You know, might have a little bit more fun or whatever, but like, I don't know, just the, the ability to quite literally just fly inside of caves is so easy. Like we already got the artifact, artifact done. Artifact of Cunning has been acquired. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the people got left now is looting. Uh, try to see if I can find some loot in here. I've, I haven't ran into another loot crate at all, but at the same time, I've got no idea where I'm at. I've got no idea where I'm at. I have no clue how to get home. Um, I'm just gonna aimlessly wander around. Hopefully we can find a loot crate or hopefully we can find a big ship. If I find a big ship, we found home. That's pretty much how it's gonna work, right? That's pretty much how it's gonna work. Um, but if we don't find a big ship, a floating snake, we might not be getting home, possibly. Like, I don't even know which way to go anymore. Um, and there's no mini map or anything. <laughs> I've got no idea how to get home. I just took a shit. I'm scared. All right, so I found the big ship. I actually ran across this previously, and I just decided to go right back into the cave to see if I could find a loot crate. It's actually not as big as I thought it was. Um, Like, quite literally, there's only, like, two passageways, I guess, from the ship. It's, like, left and right. And uh, they both just instantly straight just go to the artifact. And once you're there, you just keep going straight and then you like end up leaving. So it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I was just kind of overwhelmed because of how everything looked, I suppose. But now that we've gotten an artifact, we didn't get anything good as far as loot goes. Um, the second loot crate I found was just a ramshackle manta and this hat, which is pretty much it. Um, it's time to get out of here because we got more caves to venture through and... Um, I think this is the way out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this looks like the way out. Yeah. Okay, the next one, we're doing Thylacolio. Okay, I promise you guys, okay? Next cave is Thylacolio. We're not, I repeat, we are not doing Argentavis. It might be a little bit too easy. Might be a little bit too easy. It's so easy, it feels cheaty, almost. Um, But I'm gonna drop this artifact off, and once we get to the entrance of the new cave, I will see you guys then. All right, so we're at the second cave base location. This is where we are on the map, pretty much all the way to the left on like the biggest little thumb or, oh my God, there is a whole Rex. Wowzy wowzers. Nothing we probably can't deal with though. Let's go ahead and get our Thylacolio out. We're just gonna ignore the rest. We don't really care about them. Um, but the cave is pretty much just right here. Um, and I don't know what that noise is, but yeah, um, let's see what kind of what kind of theme we get here. Um, can we even go throughout this entire thing on our Thyla? Probably. Oh, got two little three, three. Okay. So they, they split us up three ways. You come in here. You got three options. I'm going to go straight down the middle. Is this just like, oh, 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 
Never mind. I guess there's two different ways to get inside this game. And then you just have the option of going left or right, it seems. Okay. I get you. I'm going to go right just because I like it. It's like a bigger area. Hey, guys. You guys seem friendly. Um, I guess we go to the left. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to just, you know, ignore me. I'm just going to slide right past you guys. Uh, you know, stranger danger. You know what I mean? You don't want to attack me. I'm a stranger danger. Hey, guys. Oh, that looks like an entrance way of some sort. Just gonna go this way. Do, do they give me torpor? They don't. Okay. Great, great, great. Oh, hey guys. How much health do I have? 15,000. Hey guys. I'm assuming I can't just like go straight past you guys, huh? Or can I? It looks like I can. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Just gonna go straight past you guys. Oh, we got ourselves our first loot crate of today. Did I even level you? You're level 60. You're doing like... 200 damage, that's it? Come on, Thylacol, you're supposed to be better than this. It's, it's good you can climb on walls or else, you know? Might not might not end good for you, I guess. Or are you doing 300 damage? It's not it's not the worst. Come on, guys. I just want what's the, in the loot crate, please. Just die, why do you have so much health? I've been hitting you this entire time. There we go. And the dung beetle. There we go. Anyone else? You guys running from me? Pussies, come here. You two, you're gonna get it to Oh. Looks like we got a drop down there. I like that. Some excitement. Can I open this on my Thyla? I don't think I can. I'm just gonna get off. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh. So much bad stuff, man. So much bad stuff. What happens if we drop in here? We're not gonna die, right? Hey guys. Um it's gonna walk past you. Oh, we got water. Wait, do we? Cause there's a snake on the other side. This isn't deep water, right? Okay. I thought it was deep water for a second. Seems like, seems like we're good. As long as we don't run into any alphas in here. Pretty sure we're gonna pretty much come out of here unscathed. Guys! There's so many of you. Come on. Give me a break. I can't even see. There we go. We're just gonna run right up here. Here we go. Huh. Big jumps. And I can't go further. Um, Man, look at my health. I'm already down 10k. Excuse me. I was talking. So rude. I might have to just hop out on the uh, the Baryonics in a minute here. Just swap back and forth between the two. Or something. Maybe I can climb up that, actually. Here we go, here we go. Come on, Thyla, do what Thylas do best. Here we go, here we go, that's what I'm talking about. Get up there. Huh. All right. Now, where does this lead me? Okay. Oh, taking the shit. Um. To the right, maybe? We gotta go down again? Wait, did we? Did we just? Did we just go in a circle? Excuse me, you, you keep being in my way. I'm pretty sure we just went in a whole circle. I think that just goes right back up. I'm pretty sure this was entirely just a, a circle. So obviously we went the wrong way. Where do we go from here though? We don't go up. Going up is bad. Maybe there's like a secret passage. Oh, maybe we just gotta keep going this way? I think that's it. Here we go. More enemies. More enemies. No, that just goes back to where we were the first time. Excuse me. Here we go. Here we go. Where the world do we go? <laughs> I'm so lost. Wait, is it that? Turn around. It looks like you can go in there. If I'm not mistaken... You can. Up, and there's the artifact. Hey, look at that. We found it. That was easy. This was the easiest cave ever. What the heck? That was easier than the first cave we went through. We just had to, like, just go through here, and that was it. And the cave was just mad small. One loot crate at that. Mad small, one loot crate. That was easy. That was, like... 
like that was easy i don't even think i, I was going to be able to do this on our own table i don't think i'd be able to go through like the little crevices or whatnot um but yeah that was mad easy that was mad easy i can't i cannot believe how easy that was all right i guess we're just gonna go ahead go back home drop this artifact off um hopefully i can find my way out of here and i'm gonna meet you guys back at the, the third uh cave location yeah all right guys we're at the last location for the artifacts this one's gonna be the artifact of the pack which is roughly in the exact same location as the other um artifact that we got earlier um but pretty much it's right on the edge of the snow biome snow biomes over there and then you'll just find like this river situation and uh yeah right inside of this river is the cave let's go ahead and go inside of here hopefully we get some water action i kind of want some water action just a little bit i might regret it you know we might actually get some water action and i die because of it but i, I just want some water action just a little bit what's in there uh, what's in what's in here that might actually be the entrance to the cave itself um maybe yeah so that seems like to be like the legitimate entrance to the cave is this way and my thylacolio can't get in there so i have to just go in here as a human i suppose not my maywing don't get my maywing out my maywing's not gonna be able to kill anything all right, let me see what this cave has to offer to uh, my Thylacolio, because obviously I'm never going to get off of you. And um, a bunch of green, okay? We've got a bunch of... We're going downwards. Bunch of green going downwards. Gotcha, gotcha. This is way different than the other caves. Usually the other caves, you just go right into the action, and you just see a big, ginormous ship in the middle of everything. But this one, you just keep going down. It's like a huge tunnel. The tunnel's getting bigger, though. I can finally jump in here. Okay. Got some stuff going to the right a little bit. Seems I'm going to keep going straight, though. Big waterfall. And action. I like big waterfalls, though. We got a big waterfall, a little water area over there, a little carno. Um, for some reason, I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. But instead, we're just going to hop over everything here. And we're just going to straight go this way. This might have been just a backtrack, though, because... Yeah, this might have just been a backtrack. I think all the pathways would probably just lead up to the waterfall situation. The waterfall situation seems to be like the situation you would want to be in. Oh my, oh my day, so many spiders are in here. Water situation is complete opposite direction of where I'm going right now. But I'm kind of just, I kind of just can't move. Just give me a little bit. One second. All right, there we go. I'm going to go this way. This might, um... So I can't keep going that way. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I just want to adventure just a little bit to see if we can find. All right, they're they're just gonna have to die at this point. Holy crap! Here we go. There we go. Now we're doing damage. Man, there's so many of them. I gotta keep. I gotta keep. Two hundred. God dang. Well, I guess I'm level two hundred as well. I guess it's only fair, right? There's just so many of them. I can't. I can barely move because of all the uh, all the spider webs. There we go. We're cooling them down. There we go. Just one more left. Thank you, because you guys were uh, infinitely annoying. We lost a little bit of health because of that, though. But it's all in the sake of adventure, huh? All in the sake of adventure. Go this way. I think we just went this way. No? Yeah, we just went that way. Okay. All right. All right. Gotcha. 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 We might go back to the waterfall because I feel like that's the place we should go. What's this poison situation? It says I'm poisoned, but I'm not losing health. It's weird. I don't know how poison works in this game. Um, yeah, we can't go that way either. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So both of those directions pretty much lead to the exact same point in the cave. It, oh, excuse me. I just came this way. Okay, um, weird, I guess considering i quite literally just came through there now i can't go back through that makes no sense but whatever whatever let's go this way is this gonna lead me back to the waterfall it just might i'm assuming it wait no this is where we came last time no no possibly not i don't know i'm a little lost this is yeah it is because we were going downwards yeah so that's the that's the way out right there that's how we get out of here we go down this way. I was like, yeah, there's a bunch of pathways. Yeah. And then we keep going straight. And then it's the waterfall. I know exactly where we are now. All right. I don't... It doesn't seem to be deep considering... There's a whole carno over there just... 
doing what a carnal does best. Um, can't go through there. Gonna have to fight the Carno. Excuse me, Carno. I know you're level 150, but I'm level 287. We are no match for each other. Well, whoa, there goes our armor. Armor's dead. I don't know if that goes anywhere. Um, little lost. Little, little lost. Just a tad. Is that a pathway? No, that's not a pathway. I don't know. I feel like there's something more to the waterfall situation. Just a little bit. I feel like there's a little bit more to the situation than meets the eye. And I honestly might have to take out the Baryonyx because my Thyla is not looking so great on health right now. Try to do as much damage as I can before I just pounce the heck away here. Yeah, we're going to have to take out the Baryonyx, it seems. Let me get to a safe point, though. All right, this seems to be safe. Sorry, um, sorry, Thyla, for doing all that damage to you. Let's take out the Baryonyx. A little bit less health, but, well, 15k health. I guess they're fine. They're pretty much the exact same thing. I guess the Baryonyx is like a water dino for the Thyla, if the Thyla was a water dino. Where in the heck is this artifact? Um... I'm gonna go back to the right. I'm gonna try and see if I can go back to the location where the, um, those one areas where I couldn't walk through to see if I can actually just walk through them now. Cause I just might be able to, or at least get, just get off the, get off the Brontus, uh, get off the Bronchiosaurus and then go through those areas. It might be the way. Man, I, I swear the spiders are the most annoying thing in the world just because they make it where you can't walk as fast. Most annoying things in the world. And there's more of them. I wonder if they respawn. I actually have no idea. Because I, I swear I went through here and killed everything. Come on. There we go. Can I walk now? No. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it was somewhere over here. Somewhere around here. Um, let's see. Okay, I think it was... Honestly, I've got no idea. Did we just come through here? I think... Uh, I think the waterfall is literally right in front of us. But that's bad because I thought we just went away from the waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall is right in front of us. Uh, is that a different waterfall? Is this a different waterfall? No, it's the exact same waterfall. Yeah, we just pretty much just went a completely... A, a complete circle pretty much i'm over here trying to jump over everything <laughs> come on i can do it ah get out my face thank thank you get out my way thank, uh, and i'm slowed come on come on come on all right we're gonna go this way and i can walk again there we go okay let's see yeah oh this is a dead end okay gotcha gotcha dead end gosh <laughs> we are so lost I, it feels like the cave isn't that like big but like we actually have no idea where to go is the is the issue we're running into here um it might be just like the other cave where there's an area that's like kind of hidden in a way that you just have to like look for i guess whoa haven't been up here before um let's go to the left I want to see if there's anything to the left here. Okay, so, oh, we can walk through here now. We can walk through here now, the Thylacolio. Yeah, we can walk through these now. So this is just a giant circle, it seems, right? Yeah, okay. So that's just a completely giant circle. So that's useless. We were just up there. Um, And if we go to the left here... I think we might just end up right back at the main entrance, which was just this, right? Because that's where we came. That's the exit. That's the exit. We come down this way. To the left is just a giant circle, and then we run into the waterfall. So it's something dealing with this waterfall situation. Something dealing with it is the, I'm pretty sure, is the, um, somewhere around here is, it's got to be the artifact or something. I'm missing something. Is that truly a dead end? Not sure. I'm gonna have to kill everything here, I think, in order for me to properly be able to investigate. Unless it's up here. 
Because, oh, we couldn't go through this way because of Thyla, I'm pretty sure. And we just turned back around. Okay, so we, we're on the right track now. There's no way we're not on the right track. Yeah, we're definitely on the right. Oh, there's a loot crate. Come on. Come on, spiders. Let's go. There's so many of you. It's annoying. Oh, my gosh. Look how many spiders there are. Come on. Kill them all. Bop. 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 <laughs> That's all you hear, bro. That's all you hear. Almost done. Almost done. That's a big one. What the heck? There we go. All right. Is that? Nope. That's not it. For so many spires, these things don't do a lot of damage, but together they do a lot. <laughs> together they they do they do chunks, man. They keep coming too. Where's the queen? There's gotta be a spider queen somewhere in here, cause there's no way she's been laying too many babies. Come on. I'm just trying to get the loot crate. And I don't need you guys interfering when I get off my Bronto or my, my Baryonyx. I keep saying Bronto for some reason. All right, one more or two. All right, just okay. All right, last one, last one. Or oh my gosh. There. You know what? I'm just gonna. We're just gonna turn around. And um. We're just gonna get it because like no and we got a club we got a freaking club and now i'm kind of lost i th think the exit is to my left i think i might be completely wrong but i think it's to my left okay so now um ooh, so many passes ways you don't know what you want to choose Random spider. We're going to choose a random patches away here. Let's see where this goes. Complete circle. It looks like a circle. I'm getting circle vibes from this. I'm getting circle vibes. Yeah, that's definitely circle vibes. Exit is. One of these ways is the exit, bro. One of them is. I don't know which one, but one of them is the exit. Um, Come on. Oh, my gosh. Look at the patches ways. This thing is a maze. Is this the exit? This might actually be the exit. Oh, yeah, this is the exit. A bunch of waters, a bunch of water, a bunch of centipedes. This is definitely the exit. So you can either go right or left. I thought they combined, but apparently they don't. I think I went right neck last time. So this left way should have some new monsters in here. Yep. Oh, big passes way right there. That's that's definitely got to be the way. Big passes way, bunch of spiders. Bunch of spiders. Holy crap. Should be fine, though. There we go. Come on. Baryonyx's health isn't looking too great, though. I wonder where my Thyla's at. My Thyla's healing. It's got 4K. And... God. I thought those were babies, bro. I thought those were babies, bro. I was about to say, what the fuck? You got babies hanging up there, bro? What the heck, bro? But nah, this is just like baby spiders, baby. I thought they were, they looked like the shape, you know, from the blink of an eye, just look like straight up babies. You know what I mean? You, you look at that, you, you think baby. I mean, say so that took a dark turn. Hold up, are these babies? Because that's definitely a human. That's not a dinosaur. I thought, these are babies, bro. Or these are just humans. These these are probably just humans. God damn, that's dark. Oh my gosh. You're not taking me. You're not I'ma take this artifact from you though. I'm glad you take this. You good? You're not gonna attack me? We friends? You know, I killed all your friends already. You know, they're all dead. You're next. Get any, you know, bright ideas, buddy. I'm taking you next. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I just you just had to find a way. That's all. And I found the way. I found the way. I wish I could rescue you guys, you know, but you're all probably dead. Um, how do I get out of here? Is it that way? Or is it this way? Let's go this way because I don't I I think it's the other way, but I want to go this way just for the sake of adventure. This is probably I could have I could have probably went this way the original uh time to even get to this location the first time, but um, but yeah. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all those centipedes that are waiting for us on the way back. Cause there's a lot of them, that's for damn sure.
There's a lot of them. We just went in a giant circle. Um, I think the exit is this way. This is either the exit or just just goes. Yep, just goes right back to here. And then we go this way. The exit. One of these is leading to the exit. One of them. I don't know which one. This has got to be the exit, right? This is too long to not be an exit, right? Yeah, this is the exit. This is the exit and centipedes. I tried to jump over them. Oh, it actually worked. Nice. Now we can actually get out of this, sh this sh shithole. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, we go this way. Oh, I'm actually hungry. I didn't even notice. I'm over dying of starvation. Exit should just be and jump. Oh, let's go. Come on. Keep it coming. Spiders got me. Spiders got me. Spiders got me. We're going to continue jumping, though. And to just continue jumping. I think the exit is, uh, come on, turn a little bit, Bron. Yeah, there we go. And we can remove. We can move. Come on. I think the exit's straight this way. If I'm, I am, I am, I am mistaken, aren't I? I am greatly. Oh, wait. Wait. Is this the circle? This is the circle. Okay, this is the dead end circle. All right. So the exit is definitely to the left, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely to the left, right? We go this way. We jump over the centipedes for some reason every single time i see those things i think of a worm but it's a centipede this game doesn't even have worms technically and the exit should be got stupid spiders man come on all right there we go and exit should be this way all right i'm gonna head back home we're gonna take a look at all these artifacts that we got and i will check you guys back once I get there. All right, guys, those are all the artifacts that we're going to be needing for the Gamma boss or the, the first, the easiest one, at least. We're going to be doing that one first. Uh, I think it's the cunning with the hunter and the pack along with. Uh, are we missing one? Are we missing one? The strong, right? Wait, wait a second. Are we missing one? We might actually be missing one here. Um, it was the cunning hunter pack in Skylord. We're actually missing Skylord. Wow. Okay. I gotta go get that real quick. Uh, guys, I can't believe we missed the Skylord artifact, but, uh, we're here at the location. It's, uh, it's right here on the map. Kind of, it's the pretty much the easiest way to even learn how to get here. Um, is to just look at that and you follow the water trail down and it's right under this waterfall. So if I like, uh, if I just jump down here real quick. Uh, not that way, but pretty much just inside of this waterfall is pretty much where the Sky Lord um, artifact is. Hello, Raptor. Hello, hello. Greetings to you as well. Oh, you're an Alpha Raptor. Oh. Well, you're only doing 34 damage to me. I'm pretty sure I can deal with you, right? And you're bleeding already. Yeah, I was a little scared. Low 50. I was a little scared, but um, we're going to be going in here. My Thyla isn't all the way healed, and I'm pretty sure that Alpha Raptor didn't help at all. But I mean, 10,000 health is still a lot of health. And we got a Baryonyx, which is pretty much sitting at full health right now. So we should be good with going inside of this cave and seeing what all of this is about. This kind of I'm seeing a pattern with all these caves. They kind of all just like someone looked the same. What the heck dinosaur is that? Oh, wait, didn't we see these guys already? I don't know. These guys look a little different. Weird. Um, hmm. But anyways, I'm seeing a pattern uh, with all these caves. They're kind of just all looking the exact same. Except the first two we ran into. The one was like all purple and everything. which uh, That was like last episode. Those look dope. But these kind of just all look the, the same little water thing with the orange crystals or whatnot. I'm assuming I'm supposed to follow this water trail all the way down. Um, I noticed there was another path I could have taken earlier up, but this seemed like the main path. I like going down the water trails. I don't know why. It's just something with the water trails that's getting me. We're just, excuse me. We're going to just continue going down these water trails. I like the water trails. We're going to follow the water. If it's not, if, if, it, if it's a trail and it doesn't have, we're not going to take it. If it's a trail and we don't have water, we're not going to take it. I see the lights. I see the lights. I don't know where the light goes. Wait, is that going out? Is that? Wait a second. Okay. Well, I stand correctly. The water trail uh, is deemed to be evil. Do not follow the water trail. Whatever you do, do not do not do it, because it's just gonna lead you right back outside, and that's 
not where you want to go. I think we actually have to take that one pathway um, that I seen earlier, which was like just a, like a like a cutoff, I guess. It was somewhere up in here. I think we're low key far. The lowest of the keys, though. Hello, guys. You guys look colorful, all blue and red and whatnot. Um, it should be. Let's see here. Right there. Here we go. So this is probably the, the the legitimate entrance to the cave, right? Looks like it. It's giving me those eerie cave vibes. Of yeah, and I can't even go down. Okay. All right. It's always with the Thyla, huh? It's always with the Thyla. Here we go. That's all I need to do. And here we go. All right. N enough with the spiders, man. Oh my gosh. Spiders are the worst. I could deal with every single mob except the spiders. Well, I could deal with the spiders too, but it's just annoying. It's annoying to have to deal with the spiders. Come on. It's a good thing my Baryonyx is at full health. Man, you guys have a lot of health for absolutely no reason you have a lot of health. What is this way? Just a pit of water, I assume. Okay, um... So that's that way, at least we know. I'm actually gonna go this way, because this goes deeper. It makes me feel like I'm going to the right area. Jump over to spiders! Because I'm a professional at this. Boom! Jump over you guys! Let's go! Jump over you! Let's go! Come on, Tyla! Come on, Tyla! Don't slow down! Oh! That was easy. No opposition in here, either? Oh, I stand correct. I stand corrected. There's a bunch of... Okay, that's one mob to just have in here randomly. It's a bunch of ants and stuff. That's interesting. Oh, our health is getting low. How many of them were there to, 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 to make my health this low? Hopefully, I can kill everything in here. Like, no joke. I might have to book it. 400? Level 400 is insane. Come on, there's not that many left. You can make it, you can make it, you can make it. Awesome. 600 health, awesome. All right, let's get off of you, because you're not surviving. Get on the Baryonyx. <laughs> what, like level 400, excuse me? What the heck was that? Come on, Bear, stop going ape shit, Baryonyx. Stop going ape shit, let's go. Level 400, just hiding. Just a bunch of dragonflies hiding. Level 400 dragonflies. A good hundred of them. Like, what the mess? I've never seen that before. That was terrifying. Excuse me. Oh, uh oh. No, nope, that's one way to look through the earth. Okay. Um, that was extremely easy find though. I just kept going straight and it kept working. This reminds me of that one. Um, that one. Um, ah, that one meme. Ah, I think it, it was an American Dad. It was ah, it was it was Rick and Morty. That one Rick and Morty. I'm, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna put it on the screen. That one Rick and Morty meme where the dad is like, okay, you guys, you guys get the gist. You guys get the gist. We got a loot crate here. Um, everything's probably gonna just die in here. I I don't know. I feel like I like the Baryonyx more than the Thyla when it comes to caving. I don't know why. It's just the Baryonyx is thinner, even though they have the exact same health. The Baryonyx is thinner, and I feel like it's also a little bit faster, and it allows me to just get into those tight areas a little bit better than the thyla can that's the only reason i'm saying that we got a pistol a simple pistol and and another i don't know what the hell that is a haydon meat pack a haydon meat pack i've never heard of that before i don't know what a haydon meat pack is um but yeah let's go ahead and get out of here did i get stuck nope peace spiders see you later don't like it don't love you don't want to be with you. We're going to go this way because uh, we didn't go this way last time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Come on! And I'm stuck. Th that works? That's one way to do it. Hello, Loot Crate! How's it going? I wonder if these Loot Crates are even worth uh, trying to collect at this point. To be honest. I feel like all the good loot crates are in like the the harder caves or whatever um and since these are like the easy artifacts to get these are gonna have like the bad loot in the loot crates or whatever that's how i feel at least like look at these freaking dragonflies there's so many of them for no reason that's one way to get chitin though we got 
thousand chin from that. Oh, it's a, it's a snail. Oh, it's bad. It's just primitive. It's bad and it's primitive. Hey, little guy, is there a snake. I'm hearing snake, but hey, hey guy, hey, hi. I don't know how to tame you, but I I would like to. I don't know how to do it though. Let's get out of here. I don't, I don't even want any more loot crates from this area. I feel like they're all just gonna be bad. I want a shotgun, but it's not giving me shotgun. So, f this area. We're getting out of here. Am I lost? I think I might be slightly lost, guys. But if we just keep going up, we'll figure out how to get out. Like, this thing is way faster than the Thyla. And I couldn't even go through that little part with the Thyla, bro. Yeah, this thing is way faster than the Thyla. I'm, I'm thinking I'm liking the Thyla a, a lot more um, than the... Not, wow. I'm thinking I'm liking the Baryonyx a lot more than the Thyla when it comes to a cave dinosaur. They're both good to have, just in case you gotta switch them out. Like, I have been having to do with my, um, with my, with my Thyla, but, like... These guys aren't bad, you know? They're faster, they're thinner, they fit through more areas. Um, and they pretty much do the exact same thing a regular one would be able to do. What are these things, by the way? They got a lot of health. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, I've never seen those things before. Those are my first time. I thought they were like the little, um, the dragon thingies or whatever, but Komodo dragons. But apparently they're not. They're like a completely, like a, uh, like a Carno that had a baby with a terror bird. That's what they look like, to be honest. That's exactly what they look like. All right, but we're out. We got the artifact. We're out of here. I'm gonna head back home. We're gonna have fun with our, our loot. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, and now we have everything that we would possibly need for the boss. We have the Skylord, we got the Cunning, we got the Hunter, and we also have the Pack, um, which I believe is all four of the artifacts that we will need um, to fight the Gamma Boss, which is going to be next episode. And we also got to get like the small little things, which I could probably look at that. But question to you guys, which I probably won't be able to see the answers until we actually do the boss, but there's three obelisks on this map but like can i just go to any of them to spawn in the boss or to teleport to the boss or is there like a specific one because i know that on like the i like certain maps there's three different bosses and i'm assuming that's because there's three different of the obelisks but this map only has one boss so i'm assuming that's why i could go to any of the obelisks and summon him or pretty much teleport to him versus like going to a specific one let me know let me know in the comments of what the answer to that is um i think i already know the answer but i figured i'd ask anyways but other than that, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Ark Survival Evolved of the Cave Divings. Um, next episode, we're going to be fighting a boss. And apparently, I can have 20 dinosaurs inside of the boss fight and not 15. So we're going to get five more Rexes to add to our army um, and prep and do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.